Hi everybody, welcome to another Chats with Children. I hope you're safe and well. It's a glorious sunny day here in Surrey today and I'm delighted by, to be joined by Dominic Roberts who is the Product Marketing Manager for Orbitrap GCMS at Thermo Fisher Scientific and today we're going to be talking about the brand new Thermo Scientific Orbitrap Explorers GC Mass Spectrometer, I hope I got that right Dom, uh, which has just been launched this month. So Dominic, how are you? Yeah, very well. Good to uh, good to speak to you, Rizwan. And uh, as you say, the, the weather's good up here in uh, the northwest. I'm just I'm outside glad. Liverpool. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. So it's not raining yeah. like it normally would be up that part of the country, then it's good to hear. No, no, it's, it's good weather up here. And uh, yeah, Liverpool's a great place, obviously, for uh, for any any weather. Um, <laughs> obviously, we, we, got the, we, got the, we had the Beatles up here and you know, famous, <laughs> famous football team that play in blue. Uh, yeah, yeah. oh good you're an Everton fan right that's fine I call you because I'm a Man United yeah. fan so we won't talk about Liverpool oh, right. Right, okay. <laughs> so well there you go you got a quick history of Liverpool there in 30 seconds from Dominic but before we go on and now start talking about your new product perhaps you could give people a quick uh overview of your background as well yeah sure so yeah, I went to university and did environmental chemistry at the University of Aberystwyth in mid Wales and um, have you been to Aberystwyth Rizwan? No, I've only been to uh, South Wales. I've really not been up to North Wales. Okay, well, yeah, I recommend it. It's a fantastic place. And so that's where I did my, my studying and then went straight into industry in York at the food safety uh, laboratory, a government food safety laboratory. I spent 10 years there at the bench doing LC and GC food safety analysis. Uh, and then moved into instrument vend working for instrument vendors as demo and application specialist, which was a great opportunity to obviously use the latest and greatest equipment and, and work with some key collaborators, key customers right across the field. So food safety, environmental. Uh, so yeah, very much been there at the bench and uh, it's great to be on the other side as well to, to be developing the instruments that, uh, that scientists now are using. Brilliant. So let's talk about the new orbital trap. So my first question is, what type of instrument is it? And a really fundamental question, why have you launched, uh, launched it this month? Yeah, so the, the Orbitrap Explorers GC is a high resolution, accurate mass uh, in, instrument. And that obviously means a couple of things. It means we can get very high sensitivity and high selectivity. So when we we detect a compound, we can be very certain of its presence. And it also enables us to see a lot more deeper into our, into our sample. And it's, it's an Orbitrap mass spectrometer and Orbitrap has been around for nearly 20 years now on the, both with liquid chromatography. And in 2015, the gas chromatography GC Orbitrap was, was launched. And that was really the, the start of this particular product's uh, life. And Orbitrap, uh, very proven technology, you know, very robust uh, and delivers really high mass resolving power. And when we think about why we introduced this particular product, we had, as I mentioned in 2015, the QExactive GCMS system. And what we wanted to do was with this new product was to bring the technology more into the routine space of the analytical testing environment. So making the product a lot smaller and a lot easier to use, uh, but also to step forward and advance the capability uh, in terms of mass resolving power to step forward so that it's relevant for scientists applications today uh, across analytical testing but also for the scientific research or the raw research uh, applications that need that higher uh, level of performance. So that's, that was the drivers behind introducing uh, this, this new, these new products. But it also gave us an opportunity to listen to our existing customers and to feedback and make modifications to the design you know those little things that you, maybe you don't think of when you're designing the product, but it's not until it's used across many years and many different applications that you, you pick up those 
uh, tips and we, it's an opportunity to introduce and make modifications in that sense. Right, we'll, we'll touch upon that a little bit later, actually. Um, so you, you said that obviously you've been listening to your customers. So what are the main sort of application areas that this would help researchers and scientists? Uh, and what sort of challenges would it help them meet? Yeah, so one particular group uh, I mentioned their analytical testing. So here we're talking about pesticides analysis, persistent organic pollutants, maybe sports, doping uh, analyses. And the challenges here in those applications are that the, the scope of analysis is always increasing. There's always more compounds to analyze and always at a lower concentration. Uh, and if we think about how those analyses are done today, traditionally is with, with the GC triple quad instrument. And this is a very targeted acquisition uh, and you will only measure what you ask the instrument to detect. Uh, you know, very much like uh, if you go fishing, you select your rod and your bait and you, you set that up and you will only catch the fish that you're interested in. Right. Because we're using a high resolution accurate mass, we can acquire the data in full scan. So we collect all of the all of the data and then decide post acquisition what compounds we want to analyze. So in this way, we can increase the scope of analysis. So if you bring it back to the fishing analogy here, what we're doing is basically dragging a big net right across the lake, capturing absolutely everything in our sample. And then we decide later, do I want a salmon? And then I pull that out of the net. Do I want a trout? And you do that way. And it's the same way as if you're looking for target compounds. You, you have that flexibility to broaden the scope of analysis very quickly. So that's, that's one particular uh, benefit of, of doing high resolution is that you can increase the scope of analyses. Can I ask you a question? That? Can I ask? Sorry, can I yeah. ask you a quick question about that? So, so you said you've got a much broader analysis, and you can capture obviously more data because of that. So, do you have a library then, or software then, which stores that data so that you can then go back to it at a later time to do that? Yeah, as you said. Yeah, you're right, Rizwan, and that's 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 a key thing because that's where a lot of the scientists spend their time is is, is in the software, uh, and less so actually acquiring the data. So. With GC, we have spectral libraries, large nominal mass spectral libraries, and also high resolution spectral libraries. Right. So we can take advantage of those to, uh, within the software to deconvolute the data, collect a mass spectrum, and then does that match anything in, in the extensive libraries such as NIST, Wiley, uh, et cetera. And th there are also GC Orbitrap spectral libraries available as well. So that's a very quick way to increase the scope uh, of analyses but you want to do that automatically within software you don't want to spend time manually looking at this the software needs to sure. do this for you and yeah through trace finder and compound discoverer software we have the capability to do that fine okay and so i stopped you You're talking about the other applications that uh, you could use it for yeah of course but so the, those are the 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 ones I mentioned before, the targeted analyses. The other area is in scientific research. And here, you know, we're talking metabolomics, uh, scientific research, product development, pharmaceutical analyses, where scientists are typically interested in getting a really deep understanding of the sample. So with full scan, high resolution, accurate mass, you have high selectivity and high sensitivity to really get a very clear picture of what your sample looks like. And, you know, if you don't have enough resolving power or resolution on a camera, the image is fuzzy. So the higher the resolving power, the more clarity, the clearer and more crisp the picture is. So that's what it brings to scientific research. So they're detecting and seeing more peaks, more, more compounds in, the, in their samples. But also when you see that, and make an identification, you do that with a really high degree of certainty. And that's important because particularly if you're doing drug discovery or extractables and leachable studies, you need to be sure what you're looking at is true and accurate and also to do that very quickly. And, and that's where this, this technology comes into play is, is being 
given the tool in the hand of the of the scientist to do that. Right. Okay. So you mentioned a little bit earlier that you've been always been to customers and they've sort of given you things that you could add on to the instrument, which was maybe missing before. So, so what, how does this work and what makes it unique compared to similar instruments, which are currently out there, which people are already using? Yeah. So with this uh, particular introduction, we, we've made the system a lot smaller. Uh, it's, it's a third smaller compared to the, the previous product. And we move the resolving power forward up to 240,000 mass resolving power. And this is, is really quite unique in, G, in DC high resolution. So giving you, you know, really unprecedented depth of analysis into a sample. So in, in that way, uh, very much unique. And you know, what makes a high resolution instrument high resolution? It's, you know, it's resolving power. So the more you have, the better your, uh, your data is going to be. Right. And, but one, one of the things that is also important with Orbitrap is you keep the sensitivity. So you want to have high resolving power and sensitivity. You don't want to have to compromise uh, between those two points. You, you want selectivity and sensitivity, regardless of your application. And that's, that's one of the, the big benefits here from, uh, from Orbitrap technology. Right. Okay. So uh, you said that the product was launched uh, at the beginning of this month. So uh, is it available now to purchase? And secondly, given that we're still in a pandemic, you know, although the UK is in a good position in terms of the vaccine rollout, it's not quite the same as the rest of the world. Um, how, well, two questions. One, how can people see a demo of the product? Because obviously we're just talking about it and it's hard to visualize it unless you've actually seen it. So how can they see a demo? And secondly, if they did purchase it, um, what, how, how do you service them in the current climate? And support yeah, yeah, certainly important questions. And just to answer the first one is, yes, they're available now. Uh, we launched the product on the 1st of March and we have been, uh, this month even shipping systems out to those early for those early orders and uh, that's great to see uh, we want to get the systems out there and there's obviously a good demand for the capability uh, but in terms of, of service and support we, you know we will always provide that in, in two ways firstly uh, at installation uh, there's service and support there and our teams work within uh, our own company rules with regards uh, and you know covid transmission re reduction but also working with whatever the restrictions are on a customer site we would respect and work with the with the customers in, in that regard to ensure that you know everybody is safe at the end of the day uh, but of course it has been a challenge uh, to deliver that and we've kind of adapted to delivering digital and you know conversations like this in our training there's it makes you realize you don't actually have to be physically in the room to sure. deliver high quality training. And I think everybody's learned that over the last year and we, we've taken that on board and been and working to deliver a, a digital experience, whether it's a pre, if, the, you know, if anybody who's interested in the, the product, we can speak to them and show them how it looks in, in a digital way, maybe before they'd have come to a demo lab and we'd have, we'd have, we've done, done a face-to-face -face demo, we can do that digi digitally now. And uh, that's great to see and makes it more accessible to, to so many more people. Uh, and the, the other way in terms of support is, yeah, it's great when the system's installed, but you wanna be having the system set up using your methods, using doing it on your samples. So in, in this way we do, uh, where possible face-to-face, -face, the application specialist will come in, set the methods up, work with the chemists in the lab. And, and that's really important um, because you know, I, I've been there in my job uh, as a food safety chemist, you know, here's the new instrument. We've just spent a lot of money on it, go use it. And you know, it can be quite daunting. So it's, it's important to have that application support, not just in, in the initial first few months, but have that ongoing for many years. Great. Okay. So if people want to know more about uh, the new product and the new Orbitrap, where can they get information? 
Yep, so certainly they can go to thermofisher.com forward slash Orbitrap Explorers GC. Uh, that will take them to a lot of information, brochures, collateral, videos, and they can, and they can find out more there. We also, when we launched the product, did a virtual launch event. So again, pivoting to this uh, digital environment where we would normally have launched a face-to-face -face trade show and that is available as well so we had some great speak customer speakers who have been using the systems and you know it's a really great source of information to learn about how the technology works and how uh, it can be applied both in analytical testing or scientific research brilliant well we'll put the links up above the video if people want to sort of access that and find out more and of course i'm sure they can contact you directly dom and leave a message under the video as well if they've got any questions or comments yeah Absolutely. Yeah, please keep the questions coming. Any feedback? Uh, we'd be delighted to help. Yeah, and as you've learned, viewers, not only will you get information in the All Trap, but you can learn more about the city of Liverpool and about <laughs> fishing because <laughs> you're a fish area man. You fish? Uh, unfortunately, no, I've never had the opportunity really. So, okay. Anyway, no, no, it's uh, very peaceful. It, 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 well, yeah, I, I hear it's, it's a nice way to switch off for a while and uh, uh, what's the right word? Get some mind mindfulness in if you want. Yeah, to if, if, yeah there's not much of that available these days, but, uh, <laughs> um, you know, with children and, and work and things. But, yeah, it's, good, it's a good opportunity. Fantastic. Well, Dominic, thank you very much for your time for talking me through the new product. Uh, good luck with the launch. I hope it goes very, very well for you. And uh, if you'd like to know more information, as Dom said, you can check out the links above the video. You can leave comments below the video for Dom or Dom is on LinkedIn. You can message him directly as well with any questions. I'm sure he'll be delighted to answer. So Dom, all that stuff say says, good luck for the launch. Have a wonderful, successful and he healthy 2021. It's lovely to see you and hopefully we'll catch up again and see how uh, the product's progressing later on in the year. So thank you very much for your time. No, no, thank you for having me. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you as well. And uh, thank you for watching. And as always, until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.